This is Pony Prepper Bill, and today I want to talk about looking at property in other states and read the fine print in what you see. As you know, we've been looking at getting out of New Jersey. We've been looking at property in Tennessee, Missouri, West Virginia, Kentucky, and uh, a couple people were telling us on a couple other websites, they were talking about, you can buy property from landowners. Uh, you can buy property for like $1,000 down, $1,500 down, pay two or $300 a month for five, 10 different, different size acres. And we've been looking at a couple of them, but you need to read the fine print in some of these. We were looking at a couple of pieces of property in Missouri that sounded great. They're in the middle of nowhere. But when you read some of it, one of them was 15 or 20 minutes to a major city. We don't want that. Uh, a couple of them sounded good. They had water on the property. They had electric that was close by. And it just a lot of it sounded good. Um, one of them was, I think it was $15,000 for like six or seven acres. One of them was five acres, but it was, cash price was $10,000, but we don't have $10,000. But it's like for $15,000, you put $1,000 down, you're paying two or $300 a month. Some of them, you could, once you make that deposit, you can move right onto that property, which sounds good. But some of them, when you read the fine print, a lot of them were divided into subdivisions. So there's like 500 acres out there and they're selling off little acres, five acres, 10 acres, 20 acres, 60 acres. You can buy as much as you want. But if you or two or three other people buy these different pieces of property scattered throughout, somebody else could buy up those other 380 acres and put in a development. So we're moving away from where we're at to get away from certain things, and we might be moving right into the heart of another one. So you're going from the frying pan into the fire. Another one I was looking at, well, a couple of them were almost the same thing. It sounded good, and the taxes for like 12, 13 acres was like $100 a year, around that, $74 a year, $200 a year. But then it said HOA. $365 a year or 300 something. That's homeowners association, isn't it? I don't want to be buying a, a piece of property in the middle of nowhere and then have to pay a homeowners association. Now you're looking at, I, I can't paint my house the color I want or... So, you gotta look at what you're getting and look, really look and research what, you're, what you want and what could possibly happen in the future. We're still looking. We saw one, I think this was in Kentucky, that sounds really good. Uh, it was, for some reason, we were looking at Tennessee last year, and for some reason we steered away from Tennessee, but we're not sure why, so we're looking into Tennessee again. And another thing, I've been having problems answering some of your comments. I get an email notification on my email saying somebody commented on such and such video. If I go to my video, it'll say, you have, I don't have a lot of people comment or even watch my videos. So even if everybody commented on my video, I'd have like 50 comments. But it might say, I have 10 comments, and when I click down, I have five. I can't see anymore. But when I get an email saying, you know, John somebody, John so-and-so, made a comment on your video and I can read the comment and then the bottom it'll say reply so when I click on reply it takes me to my video on YouTube to the comment section and it's not there okay now in this video this is YouTube secret stuff has commented is the grass always greener video and if I go I can read his thing but when I click on reply Hold on, loading. This is Pause it. Here's my... When I click on my comments... He's not there. 
and it doesn't matter what I do, newest first, oldest first, it, it really doesn't matter. So it doesn't really make a difference if I'm on my computer or my cell phone. Some people, for some reason, I, I can read your comment only in email, but if I don't check my email, I can't read your comments at all. So I apologize for that. If anybody has any information on how I can read certain comments or why certain comments I can't read. I can, I mean, somebody told me that you can put a private message where other people can't read it except for the person you're sending it to. But if they're sending it to me, I can't respond. I can't even see it on my own feed. So that makes no sense to me. So look, we're still looking at property. Uh, we're looking at a couple different states, but right now we're not sure of the ins and outs of the fine type, what they're really doing, what you can buy. We don't want to be close to the city. We don't mind. One place was, uh, I think that was in Kentucky, eastern Kentucky, was like 20 minutes or something from a town, but the town only has like 200 people in it. So that sounds good. Uh, a big town with thousands of people, we want to, an hour is good. We don't want to be too close to town. So this is Pony Prepper Bill. This is about the, the comments. Uh, I can't get some of your comments. And about housing, if anybody has a good, good area. Some, you know, I mean, some states are just so freaking big. So if you know a certain county a certain town to look at for property that's cheap uh, with no building restrictions or you know can you live in a, a shed that you build up or can you build your own house uh, I mean people are like oh come to Tennessee come to Montana come here it's so big like New Jersey if somebody told me if they want to come to New Jersey well it depends on where you go I mean 20 minutes from here you're gonna pay six thousand dollars a year move 20 minutes down the street, you're going to pay less than that. Depends on the, the county and stuff. So if anybody has any uh, good places you can think of, let me know. And this is Pony Prepper Bill. Until the next video, I had another one I was going to make, but it's a little on a touchy subject. I'm not, I made a video last night, but I decided not to put, put, put it up. So I'm still working on it. I'm debating whether to do that one or not. This is a Pony Prepper Bill, and until the next video, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.